Hello, it's Chaplin73 here. Um, I'm here today with Jason Reynolds. Hello, Jason. How are you doing? Hello. And um, it's another one of our interviews, so I will just crack on with the questions. Um, so, Jason, tell us, tell anybody who's watching um, who you are, um, what do you do, and where are you based? Hello, I'm Jason Reynolds. Um, I'm an artist, artist, creative, uh, just a bit of designer, a bit, little bit of this, that and everything. Um, born and bred in London, and then I've uh, moved down to the south coast of England now. So I'm down here and I do, um, I do, do all sorts of bits really. I do a bit of painting, a bit of mixed media, a bit of like, oh, sorry, I'm going to flash them. A bit like collage worky sort of things. Um, I do just getting into digital stuff as well. Yep. Sorry, censored. <laughs> um, and then I do um, like, like pen work and like more serious -y sort of bits as well. Mm -hmm. So like pebbly beachy sort of things. Yeah. And a big, uh, big, like mixed mixed media painting. Yeah, I, I, I saw those on your Facebook. I think they're beautiful. The the technique. Yeah, it's, it's just Thank you. Yeah, they they've come out all right, and people have kind of um, they're drawing towards these ones, and they like them. I think it's like the metallic y and it's a bit more muted compared to like the bright pink and yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, so they they fit in a little bit more, but. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing it, and I did like the illustration and the line work and the whole paint, and the, it's just getting creative and messy, you know. As I like, a, yeah, it's getting getting involved with it, and I'm starting to do it right in the middle of another one as well. There, yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, the details in it. Yeah, yeah, they them bits has been, which is with these bits is a lot. Um, so at the beginning, I sort of just spray paint some bits and chuck it and go everywhere. And so you're a bit free and flowing, but then I'd, yeah, then you knuckle down to the details and tightening it all up. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a la labour of love. But I, uh, as you know, as a creative, it's uh, something you have to have to get out and have to do. So yeah. always, always busy. But then I do all sorts of things, T-shirts, trainers, <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever, what, what I'm feeling at the time, really, because I'm I'm self sort of. I've had no. I have. I'm an oil painter. I'm a lino cutter. I'm a printer or graphics or I, I, whatever I feel. I've got no uh, things holding me back or tying me back. So I'm I'm pretty lucky in that way. Yeah, I'm much the same. I just have a dabble at everything. I, I, I jack of all trades and master of none, as they say. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> But, uh, we, we're getting there, we'll try. So having said that, what or who do you think influenced your art and your style that you um, that you use? I can, I can see you use like different styles and I can see kind of like a pop art kind of style with your collage and stuff. But... Yeah, there's, um, there's, I, I think as a creative, I think every, we're such a, like, a, a breed in ourselves. That I, everything that excites me and I see inspiration, in everything, the things you see, the colours, what, what, how you feel, um, bits and pieces. But um, putting it down to it, I like yeah, pop art, Liechtenstein, Warhol, and all of that. And then I like um, like old school illustrations, like these ones, as they're very like Beardsley and sort of like fine artwork and stuff, the um, line work and things. Then um, I like the urban art scene as well, so like the like the original graffiti artists and stuff like that. And then. But then masters as well, so like your Van Gogh's bonnet, what everything. I, 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 if it excites my and I can see something in it, and I can see the passion that the artist has put into it, that's what excites me and what I pull from it. If you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know exactly what you mean. It's it's, it's just um, you know, I, I just love going to art galleries and seeing other people's art, and it, it really doesn't matter what it is. It's just um, no. it's nice to see. You know, even even paintings that you don't particularly like, it's nice to get up close to them and see how they've done what they do. And, and, and oh, it's, it's it's completely different seeing it in eyes, isn't it? Seeing it yeah. there because you can see the see the textures, see the strokes, see the emotion and the 
passion that's put and, onto it. You and know and I mean? sometimes the size of the painting as well. I mean, I, I know I've seen, I, I went to the Picasso Museum in um, Paris and some of the Picassos there, I was surprised at how small they were. You know, That's, I would yeah. imagine that they'd be really, really big paintings. You know? <laughs> see them and they're sort of like this size. And you... Exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hold, on, that. hold on a minute. And, and, and it can be the other way around. You know, you see something in a book and it's sort of like A4 size and you think, oh, it's probably about this big. And you, you turn up and it's like three times as tall as you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like, like the Night Watch. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. A massive, huge, huge paintings. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah well, I was lucky enough before the lockdown was over in Amsterdam and I went to the uh, old Rijksmuseum and then, yeah, I was lucky enough to see that and they were doing their like, digital scans on it and they're trying to, because it's only a fraction of the actual painting, they're trying to build up and it was so exciting. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting lost on it, but hey. No, 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 yeah. no. I, 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 I see excitement and yeah, inspiration everywhere. Mm -hmm. everywhere though the people people i'm meeting people like you and people i've luckily met on like social media and galleries and exhibitions and bits and it's just yeah fuel for the mind isn't it yeah yeah well, <laughs> that's what it's all about isn't it? so what oh, advice yes. would you give or would you like to go back and give your younger self about art um, or what would you like to go back and say to yourself or what advice would you give someone thinking of starting out as an artist now um I was, think, I was thinking about this one. I'd like to, if I could go back, I'd, um, I'd, just, I'd just tell myself to push and believe in myself and um, just draw, 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 paint, 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 practice, practice, practice. Just just enjoy it and let it all out. And um, don't, it doesn't, with, with art and stuff like that, it doesn't matter if you muck up. It doesn't, everybody mucks up, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, um, just enjoy the process. Learn from the process. If you do something and you don't like it, you don't do it again, do you? Just, and you can always paint over it as well, which is good with painting, you know what I mean? You can always move it around and, yeah, change it and things. But, um, yeah, I'd most probably tell myself to actually believe in myself a little bit more and push and push and, yeah, don't compare yourself to other people. Mm. It's not about... Other people have got better abilities and they do other things, but they're not doing what you do. So just, just enjoy it. Enjoy the moment and love it. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah the sound advice. I, I remember, you know, years ago thinking that I was absolutely rubbish at art because, you know, you'd sit down, you'd try and draw something and it wouldn't come out the way you wanted it to. And you'd think that that was a failure. Whereas now I'm quite happy creating stuff and just seeing where it goes, you know. And, yeah, exactly that. You don't, yeah. That's a good thing sometimes, isn't it? It's like I, some of my things I don't plan out at all. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 and then you see, yeah, you get that feeling for it, and you, yeah, you go for it, man. Yeah, but that's that's something that at the beginning of your journey as an artist, I think a lot of people are discouraged by their failures, and and you know, I, yes. I, I remember screwing things up and throwing them across the room, and you know, getting really frustrated because I couldn't get the perspective right or whatever, and exactly and that. that. You know, it, it really doesn't matter like that, does it? Just... But do you learn from it now? Yeah, yeah, I think I do. I, I think that that is part of the process, isn't it? And and I enjoy the process of painting now rather than the product of painting. You know. Yeah. Yes. That's an important thing to remember. Is... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The actual involvement yeah. of it, getting in there, not the actual finished piece, hanging it on the wall. It's that oh, in there, yeah. making the mess and getting the air. Feeling it come together and wondering where it's going to end up, rather than having this rigidity in your mind where you think, I want exactly to that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly that. So I'm just moving these cushions. It's getting a bit. Oh, of no. <laughs> yeah. Make yourself comfy. Um, yeah, that's it, man. So yeah, um, if you could spend a day with another artist, living or dead, I love this question. Um, who would you choose, and what would you do? That was such a hard question. Such a hard question. So <laughs> they all many, say that. <laughs> they were, at, at the minute with this lockdown, any anybody, I just want to see people and just like, yeah, give them a cuddle. I'm, I'm lucky. I'm very, very lucky. I've got a wonderful um, my missus. Um, she she with the lockdown, she's my best mate anyway, and she's uh, she lets me produce and create, and she's yeah my best friend. So I'm lucky there, but. Um, when it's, if I could, anybody, 
Uh, it, it might as well have to be the lovely Maggie Hamlin. Uh, that's because I, I just, I, she's such a character. She's, she I, a love character all the, I love all of her work. I think her and I would get along pretty well. You know what I mean? We could have a couple of beers, smoke some fags and uh, get lost in the paint and go walk on the beach. And I think she's a, she's a, she's a hard, Lovable woman with a yeah, a lot to say, and I, I just I just absolutely adore her. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a yeah, great, great, great inspiration of mine, and I like to um yeah, I'd love to uh, spend the day with her. It most probably be a week because we'd uh, <laughs> end up getting lost. <laughs> in the paper, but, uh, get, get on like a house on fire and then um, spend the week there. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, good answer, good answer. Um, I, Thank you. I just I just think it's really um. Really interesting hearing who people choose and why they choose them. It is because there are so many, and I was like, oh, I'd love to do this with Tracy Emin or uh, Van Gogh. If you go back in the day, Van Gogh or Da Vinci, oh, there's so many people, or Dali. Imagine getting in his mind for a day, or just it's so it's yeah. But no, Maggie overall because she's just a she's just a darling, and no, she's a who. I'd love to uh, spend a day with her. To be honest, I don't think I'd like yes. to be in Dali's mind for half an hour, let alone 24 hours. <laughs> That's very true, very true. I think, I think if you were, I think it would muck you up for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, enjoy this That's trip. Cool. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so, so what's in store for the future for you? Um, do you have anything you're working on or planning that you can share with us today? Take over the art world. <laughs> no, um, I'm, I'm working on a few different bits and pieces. Um, working with, I don't know if I should say, because it's still in the pipe work, but I'm going to let it go anyway. Uh, a photographer over in Vancouver, and he was a, a 90s photographer back in the day in like the music scene and like the rave scene and uh, like with the models and that. And he's got loads of old photos, like the original proofs and that, that haven't been released yet. And he, um, we're going to do a little collab together to do some digital and then my hand drawn like organic sort of nature so like sort of thing and then see where that goes with that mm -hmm. and um work uh doing another done a collab a few months ago with an amazing artist called tracy watt which over in wales yeah yeah yeah, yeah done a collab with her oh fabulous yeah so we have, so I, I do the backgrounds and the collagey bits, and then she does her amazing portraits. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully there's a few more of them involved, and then yeah, in in the light in the pipe works. And then uh, just little bits and pieces, really. I want to try and get a um, try and get a website up and running, and um, just try and get my stuff out there as much as possible, really. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. There's nothing. Um, there's no huge. Massive, massive works I've got planned because I just I go, I'll go with the flow and I uh, work with what um is available with me at the time. If you know what I mean. You mentioned before we started recording that you'd uh, missed out on something recently and um, hoping to get on board with it. Oh yes, yes I did. Yeah, um, congratulating yourself and Mason and all the other uh, amazing guys that have done the uh, background, Bob amazing charity thing and the congratulations all absolutely blew my mind and surpassed all expectations and hopefully there's a i missed out by the skin of my teeth trying to get on there because artists are always busy and they're doing bits and pieces but um yeah hopefully there's a second one in the pipe work so hopefully i can jump on board on that and uh get out there and do a little bit for do a little, little bit for that charity and um work with alongside some amazing artists as well man yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, it, was, it was it was an amazing experience and it was something that i thoroughly enjoyed and and feel quite honored to have been part of and um, oh, I, I was just bl absolutely blown away by how much money they raised they yeah they, they, they i think i think all of them went past what they were and your your two went very well mm -hmm. didn't they mason's mason's went well i think, I think all of them but it went over a hundred or grand didn't it I think, it, I, think it, I think it was it was either just under or just over a hundred grand total, um, in, including the book sales and. Uh, well done, well done, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was around uh, the 100 grand mark, which was stunning. It was like, we're brilliant, isn't it? It's just, just something that a, a creative, it's like you give it a little bit and then we all join together because I find creative people are, I don't know, we're a little bit different, aren't we? You know, what I mean? we're, we're not that humdrum or that horrible sort of people. We like to help out people and do things and just be in yeah. in a connection with other creatives. And if you, can, if you can give a little bit by doing a little bit, why, why not? Makes the world a better place, sir. It's one thing that's been a common theme um, in a lot of these interviews uh, I've done with artists is that they've said, you know, that it's not just about the art, it's about the community. And it's about collaborating. It's not about, you know, working in a silo and trying to be the best or something. It's, it's about no. what you can do with other people. And like, like your collab there with Tracy Watt, you know, it's, it's kind of, and you're doing collabs in the future with this photographer guy, you, you know, you, you, the, the, it's just, um, you know, it, it's just how we work as creatives and we can bounce ideas off each other. And I think that's, that's wonderful. You know, it's, it is, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Bounce your ideas and work together. Like with, regards going back to that Tracy one is like our styles are completely different completely she's a master at it I'm an amateur and self-taught and they just I don't know I, I absolutely love it that's why I haven't sold it yet sorry Trace <laughs> 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 staying in my collection <laughs> no but um, yeah just yeah working with other people seeing what other people do so if you lock yourself away you, you're gonna run out of ideas you're gonna be in that dark little place and just produce the same sort of thing. Why not? Yeah, why not try others? If it doesn't work, it's going back to that failure thing again. If it don't work, it don't work. Yeah. But if yeah. it does, fuck, if it does, fuck, it's blinding. Let's see, you can do another thing and uh, yeah, just keep on, keep on creating, man. Keep on creating. I've, I've done a couple of collabs in the past, but I get a bit terrified when the, when the work turns off of somebody else's that I'm going to end up ruining it. It's like, You've got to paint over it or do something over yeah. it. Is it yeah, it is, big it responsibility. I might do something, they is. might hate it. It's fun. It um, is, isn't it, man? But that's, a, that, that's the excitement of it, because you never know. You never do know, do you? you never, no, no, no. There's no final thing. So you can go, ooh, and get, get lost. And yeah, I just really, really enjoy doing it. And uh, hopefully there's a lot more to come in the future. I want to try and do a few uh, like paint jams or try and get some walls and do mm -hmm. some big, big pieces. With yeah. like uh, do 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 a mix and do a bit of my um, like collagey bits with some slap ups and then do my painting over the top of it and do just do a JJ style, just go mad but then enjoy it, man. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. There's a few yeah, a few little bits lined up and uh, yeah, man. Ah, I look forward to seeing where you go with it. Thank you very much. And it's been great talking Thank to you today. Uh, thanks. Thank for you. And you. And you. Yeah, thanks for giving up your, a bit of your busy schedule to um, have a chat with me. No trouble at all, mate. No trouble at all. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it's been lovely to get to know you as well and, and, and hear a bit about what you've been up to and what you've been doing. Thank you, thank you. And uh, hopefully we uh, never know. I'll, we might do a collab together or our paths will cross and uh, never yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully get some um, event over the next 12 months uh, if, they, if they start happening again. Um, we'll we'll meet yeah. up. You know, we'll, we'll know who each other is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I need it, mate. I need it. I need it. I had Guns and Roses and Green Day last year. As many go and see them, and they they got all cancelled. And all that. so hopefully this year is going to be the year for everyone. <laughs> twenty twenty one. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Well, thank right, you, man. thank you very much. Thank and you. if if you like what you've seen today and um, what you've heard today, then please hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be interviewing more artists over the forthcoming 12 months, two years, whatever. Um, uh, so, so, you know, keep your eyes peeled and hopefully I'll interview somebody who you want to find out more about. Um, thanks for listening today. All the best. <laughs>